Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Those of you that remember me from last night at our fantastic Science Slam, you know I like a good answer, so I'll ask again. Good morning. Good morning. Fantastic. Good to see you all. Good. Yes, I hope everyone had a wonderful evening. I can say it certainly was a great pleasure and honor to moderate the Epic Forum's first Science Slam yesterday evening. Uh, fantastic presentations, a good time, and great discussions yesterday evening. Before we begin the formal part, again, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is David Patrician. I'm originally from the United States, outside of Washington, D.C., and I came to Germany on a Fulbright scholarship about 10 years ago and ended up staying here, working for many of the German TV stations, NTV Fernsehen, RTL Media. And I can just say that I'm a very big fan of cross-international exchanges, student exchanges, and programs similar to the Epicure. So for me, it is a great pleasure. I live in Hamburg now, but it's a great pleasure to be here in Freiburg and help moderate this morning's opening ceremony. As we know, yesterday we had a fantastic beginning with our Science Slam, and today we want to move forward now to a little bit more of the formal part of our program. And there's been a lot of exciting things happening in the Epicor family. I'm happy to say that the pilot phase has been successful and completed, and now the journey continues. The Epicor program has had its green light and received new funding. So an applause for you all for making that happen. Great job. And this morning, we have some very distinguished guests here to help welcome us to our forum, to tell us more about what's happening and what to expect also in the future for the Epicor program. It is my great pleasure to welcome the rector of the University of Freiburg, Professor Kirsten Kriegelstein. Please help me welcome Professor Kriegelstein. Welcome. Would you like the microphone? Or, yeah? okay, So, dear Professor Planex, dear rectors, dear presidents, dear representatives of our Epicure partners, ladies and gentlemen, dear guests, and most importantly, dear friends. I'm going to interrupt for a second. Can, I just, can everyone here in the back, yes or no? So, so. So, two options. Either we make the microphone closer, because your words are very important, and I speak a little louder. Fantastic. Thank you for that. Should I so. Okay. Eins, zwei, drei. Ich kann mal reinbeißen. So most importantly, I welcome all friends here in the room. It is my great honor and pleasure to really welcome you to the Epicur Forum 2022 in Freiburg. This forum is a special one because we are celebrating the ex experiences, successes and transitions of our joint project's pilot phase. While already preparing the full rollout of this great joint undertaking in the next few years, today we want to focus on the lessons that we have been able to learn since our start in 2019, and we want to discuss how to build on our achievements. At the University of Freiburg, we see that our initial hope that Epicur will help us to make learning and teaching not only more European, but also more innovative, more student-centered, and more collaborative, is pervading all the activities. In this regard, we would like to thank all the partners for your commitment, engagement, and collaboration. Epicur is an asset and a change for the University of Freiburg because it boosts our ambitions to improving and continuously updating our efforts for learning and teaching. Hence, I would like to quote the representative mission statement of our university. As a university deeply rooted in tradition and comprising a wide range of academic fields, we embody the principle of freedom of research and teaching in, our, in order to prepare coming generations for challenging social issues. It is our declared goal not only to impact knowledge, but also to further education as building, 
This is the German word for the development of autonomous and reflective personalities. We seek to create venues of learning in which the diversity of learners and teachers with regard to gender, cultural and social background, worldview, disabilities, age or sexual orientation is not only re respected, but also cherished as enrichment. We regard the multiplicity of disciplines as an opportunity to enable interdepartmental cooperation between learners as well as teachers. The university aspires to provide best possible learning and working conditions, not only for college studies, but also for continuing education, as lifelong learning is commensurate with our educational ideas. We are shaped by the multinational heritage of our region, which oblige us to pursue internationalization and by our rich national environment, which urges us to use resources responsibly and attach great value to sustainability. We are aware of the social context in which learning and teaching take place. Interconnectedness between university and civil society, involvement in local issues and strong regional partnerships are genuine to our academic culture. We see ourselves as Europeans and global citizens and thus create border-crossing alliances." End of quote. This quote shows that a true European inclusive and innovative project such as Epicur belongs at the heart of our university as it prepares itself and its students for a challenging future. With all foreseeable claims and demands, this future will urge us without any doubt to strengthen the strategic importance of our collaboration and to care for a solid connectivity, not only of learners and teaching, of learning and teaching with the other academic dimensions, but also with thematic foci of particular societal relevance that have been boldly labeled as epi-challenges. Therefore, the University of Freiburg is ready and looking very much forward to deepening and widening the collaboration within our alliance. Please follow me to close this welcome message with some words that have been drafted quite exactly 565 years ago in the deed of foundation of the University of Freiburg on 21st of September 1457. We dig the well of life out of which shall be drawn enlightening water of con comforting and salubrious wisdom inexhaustibly from all ends of the world in order to quench the pernicious fire of human irrationality and blindness. Thank you very much and enjoy your stay in Freiburg. I'd like to ask you to stay here for a moment, Kirsten. And, and, and ask um, just a quick question for you. Thank you for the opening remarks, but what does it mean for you to be European? And maybe I'll give you the microphone here, just a brief answer. Yeah, thank you very much. For me, European, and I tried to say that in the welcome address, uh, is friendship, friendship all over Europe. I do enjoy traveling to all countries of Europe and I meet always very nice, very exciting people and I'd really be happy to be part of Europe. Fantastic. Great. Thank you very much. You also have been kind enough to fill in for our next speaker. The Lord Mayor of the city of Freiburg, Mr. Martin Horn, also had some remarks prepared for us this morning, but unfortunately he could not be here. So we're very kind that you will be able to read his opening remarks for us. So in honor of Lord Mayor, city of Freiburg, Martin Horn, we will once again have Professor Kirsten Kriegelstein give the opening remarks. Please. Dear
Dear Professor Dr. Planex, Strategic Coordinator of the EPICO Alliance, Dear Professor Dr. Kriegelstein, Rector of the University of Freiburg, <laughs> Dear Rectors, Presidents and Representatives of the European Epicure Universities, Ladies and Gentlemen, as the Mayor of the City of Freiburg, I would like to extend a warm welcome to you all. And I'm delighted that you have chosen the City of Freiburg for the Epicure Forum 2022. In my opinion, the European idea is more important than ever in the current situation. The terrible war in Ukraine, high inflation, and the increasingly threatening energy crisis, we cannot solve these tasks alone. This is a time when retreating and solo actions are doomed to fail. Only with cooperation and cohesion will we succeed. The idea of European integration has also a hard time lately. The reform deadlock of the European institutions is obvious. Nevertheless, I think many persons now understand how valuable this European Union is, how much it protects us, and how much strength can be developed when we work together on this continent. The European idea also plays a particularly important role in the field of universities and higher education institutions, ladies and gentlemen. Research knows no borders, and an association of the continent's brightest minds can achieve much more than isolated national research. In addition, we need to bring our youth together. The students, the junior academics will shape the world of tomorrow. And they need our support today. The more international, the better. This is also where the cities come into play, as the locations of the higher education institutions. This is where students, teachers, researchers, and administrative staff live and work. The social and cultural environment must be right in order to create a lively, dynamic environment that attracts specialists and offers the best pos possible conditions so that students from all over the world are happy to study, do their doctorates, and pursue their habilitations here with good results. Therefore, I can assure you that you have chosen a good venue for the Forum 2022, because Freiburg is a city of science. In addition to the University of Freiburg, that was founded in 1457, we also have several other higher education institutions here. One of the leading university medical centers in the state, five Fraunhofer Institutes, two Max Planck Institutes, and a large number of other research institutions. In summary, I can say that my own experience, from my own experience, the cooperation between the city of Freiburg and the University of Freiburg is very close and constructive. As the mayor, I am constantly committed to ensuring a good urban environment for research and the university and the many students and living the city. They provide important impulses for social and cultural coexistence and carry the latest academic research findings into our urban society. You see, there is give and take from which both sides benefit enormously. That is why I'm delighted that you are here. We have already made very good experiences with the OICOR, the European campus, and now it is exciting to see how a similar idea is realized on the large European level. I congratulate you all very warmly on the successful conclusion of the pilot phase. And I'm looking forward to the continuation of your work, because I'm sure that EPICUR will make a valuable contribution to better connecting research and students from Europe and bringing them closer together. This is a big goal, but also an enormously important one. 
I thank you all very much for your commitment. Please stay for a moment. Thank you very much, Professor Kiefelstein, and thank you for delivering the words from Mayor Horn as well. And on behalf of the Epicor team, we wanted to give our speakers a small thank you gift this morning. It's a wine from beautiful Freiburg. So here's the wine, and thank you once again for your, your remarks this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good. It is now my great pleasure to say bonjour and to welcome the Epicor Strategic Coordinator at the University of Strasbourg. Oh, one moment. Please help me welcome Mr. Jean-Marc Planex, who is dying to come up here and speak to us. Come on up. <laughs> Good morning. Dear Rector Kriegelstein, dear rectors, dear colleagues and students from Epicure University, dear ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, on behalf of uh, Michel Deneken, Epicure Chairman and President of Strasbourg University, on behalf of the rectors of Epicure Partners University, and on behalf of, of the entire Epicure family, I would like to thank you for welcoming us here in Freiburg. This uh, warm welcome touches us at, at this very special moment of closing the first stage of our Epicure Alliance. During this difficult period, we have not only built this alliance stone by stone, but we have also rethought and restructured it in a development project, which has been built also step by step and which has just been supported by European Commission and with the maximum funding allocated to an alliance for the next phase. I'm doubly honored to open this forum because it will allow us to make together a first assessment of the path we have taken together and of the achievements of Epicure and more particularly of all those who are facing us at this moment. Uh, but also of the very numerous contributors of our nine universities. Dear Professor Kegelstein, you have just brilliantly reminded us how this project has its roots in the history, the DNA, and the strategic orientation of the University of Freiburg. The cement and the success of our union come from the fact that the great majority of these founding values are common, common and shared. Our ability to develop innovative action oriented towards the great challenges ahead of us was demonstrated in the pilot phase. And we are able to convince the European Commission that our shared vision could be the source of tangible results. The challenge for us is now to integrate our innovative activities and our deepening cooperation with more faculties, staff, and students. The phase of creative innovation that we have just experienced must continue. The collective intelligence that has developed thanks to the collective work and the effective confrontation of the numerous pilots with the reality of our different university are valuable assets and lever for mobilizing our university community on a larger scale. The many links and cooperative ventures established with partners of all, kind, of all kinds in each university offer many wonderful opportunities to our students, teachers, researchers, and staff. It is now up to all of us to capitalize on the relevance and method of that our nine university and their associated network allow us to move forward together faster and further than if each of us were to embark on this space, 
on this path alone. Today, we have to forgive, forgive me the wine image. We have to transform a just pressed mass into a refined, subtle, and delicious nectar than the most informed Epicurean will unveil us. The philosophical, geographical, scientific, economic, and societal dimension of our alliance are values that must guide us to succeed together in a new stage of development of Epicure. It will deeply transform our universities, build bridge between universities, but also faculties and many various groups. It must correspond to the integration at all level of the add value of the alliance and to the disparance of the multiple barriers that today prevent the sharing of action, courses, training program, research action, technical and scientific program, trans and scientific platform, etc. Our outstanding action constitute our identity, our shared value, our signature. I will conclude by paying a tribute to all those who have made Epicure what it is today, and to all of those who will soon help us to grow and shine. A big thanks to the first, and welcome to the second, we all need you. Finally, thank you to the whole team of Freiburg who organized this wonderful forum. Good Epicure, good Epicurean forum to hold. Thank you. Thank you. And even though uh, France has some of the best wine in the world, we hope you still enjoy our wine from Freiburg. Here you are, sir. Thank you, I'm sure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks so much. Bye. Sure. Great, then moving on with our program this morning, uh, we are very happy to have the Lord Mayor of the city of Poznan with us per video this morning. And Poznan, of course, is one of the institutes of the Epicor in Poland. And his name is Mr. Jakik Jaskowiak. So, once our video is ready, we will hear our welcome meeting per video from the Mayor, the Lord Mayor of the city of Poznan. Ladies and gentlemen, Damen und Herren. We are very proud that the Adam Mickiewicz University is a member of Epicure community. This alliance raises the rank of the university, but also of our city as an academic and scientific center. I am convinced that the cooperation of our universities will result in contacts and cooperation between our cities. Poznan is a diverse, dynamic and academic city. Over 100,000 students from over 100 countries live here, and everyone has their own unique story to tell. Poznan is open to everyone, and everyone is welcome here. In recent months, more than 5 million people have entered Poland from Ukraine to flee the war. I am proud that Poland, including Poznan, has passed this difficult test and provided help and shelter to our Ukrainian friends. The situation in Ukraine shows how important the priorities of the Epicure Alliance are. Openness, cooperation, diversity, education, multilingualism, social relations. These aspects help to build and maintain security and peace in the world. Through alliance such as Epicure, we can jointly create a better place to live for us and future generations. I wish you many inspiring conversations. I believe that this conference will generate many great ideas and that many new friendships will be made. Thank you very much for those opening remarks, Mayor Jaskowiak. Now we're moving over to our keynote speaker. And as you all know, in the last couple of years, during the corona pandemic, many of us were on Zoom meetings or Teams meetings. And so we're going to go into a little bit of a digital adventure. 
and have our key meeting, or try to have that key meeting, digitally per Zoom. So, if everything goes as planned, and we hope it does, we'll be able to greet Vanessa Debiasantom, and she's the head of the unit in charge of higher education policies and programs at the European Commission's Directorate General for Education, Youth, Sport, and Culture. And uh, rectors, all members of the Epicure European University. It is a great pleasure to meet all of you, and I can see all of you today while we are celebrating this year of uh, the European Year of Youth and the 35th anniversary of the most emblematic European program that is Erasmus+. Plus. And this is thanks to all of you, because you are, thanks to your daily hard work, making this program a reality, I and mean, even more than that, hugely successful. And let me also congratulate Epicure for your successful application to the second round of Erasmus Press funding for the next four years with a, with a substantial increased budget, which we hope will allow you to mainstream all the innovative activities that you have piloted in the last three years so that more of your students, academics, and faculties can benefit from the new innovative interdisciplinary learning and research practices that you are developing. Epicure will be a key player to move towards seamless and new forms of mobility for a majority of your students and staff, be it physical, virtual, or blended. And we are looking forward to see the development of interdisciplinary and transnational programs across your universities, striving towards a joint European degree. And of course, the setup of a vibrant, multicultural, inclusive and multilingual inter-university campus. We encourage all students and staff to take ownership of this epicure and to be epicurious, as you say, be part of its development and take advantage of all the great opportunities we know it can bring to all of you. And we ask also for the continued commitment and mobilization of all university leadership involved, and we know that you are, because there is no transformation of higher education, no capacity to work for more resilience and sustainability without the creativity and energy of higher education leaders and management and all academics. Now comes the critical moment to develop even more joint educational activities together, be it at bachelor, master, doctoral level, so that more of your staff and students can really experiment and benefit from Epicure and this European University. Now comes the moment to boost mobilities and to even closer interact with your innovation ecosystems. And you know that we are on your side to further support Epicure. On 5 April this year, the Council endorsed the higher education package proposed by the Commission through the adoption of council conclusions on the European strategy for universities and an, an important council recommendation for building bridges for effective European higher education cooperation. And all European universities, including PQ, have been key in the development of this higher education package. We build on your experiences and you are leading the way towards a true European education area in higher education. The member states have expressed their strong support and now we have the green light to work towards four key objectives. First, a stronger European dimension through higher education research. Second, to support you in your role as beacons of the European way. Third, empowering you to tackle the twin digital and green transitions. And last but not least, to reinforce high education institutions as fundamental drivers of European global leadership. 
Of course, now we need to support you in, in the implementation of these common objectives. We have set the vision, but now we need to really move towards its implementation. And just as we relied on your input for this uh, vision, we continue to rely on your experiences and feedback while we are moving towards this implementation. And this brings me to our four flagships. The European Universities rollout, a possible European legal status for alliances, a possible joint European degree, and the progressive development deployment of the European Student Cloud Initiative. So on the first one, we're going to broaden the European Universities Initiative to build and to support 60 European Universities Alliances involving more than 500 higher education institutions by mid-2024 with an Erasmus Plus investment of 1.1 billion euros for the period 2021-2027 on top of complementary support from other European funding like Rise in Europe, Digital Europe and uh, the structural funds. And we want even to support even more cooperation, not only within your European university, but also between European universities alliances. And we're going to organize a, a meeting, um, several meetings in October to further discuss this stronger cooperation between alliances and between alliances and startups as a follow-up of the Education and Innovation Summit that was organized in June. So more information will follow on our site in, in October on that front. The second flagship is to work towards a fully voluntary and flexible legal status for alliances of higher education institutions. And we want to allow European universities such as yours, if that is your wish, of course, to make common strategic decisions and facilitating putting together resources, activities, data, while fully respecting your institutional autonomy. Third, we're going to examine options and necessary steps towards a possible joint European degree. And as a first step, we are working towards developing European criteria for the award of a joint European degree label for your students to have a certificate showing to their future employers what it means to be part of a European university. It means having the skills that all future employers are looking for. And this will also support joint programs delivered in the context of transnational cooperation like the one with NPQ. Based on the results of, um, of a piloting phase that we have launched in June with the deadline 6 of October, I can only encourage EPQ to be part of, of this piloting phase. We will continue working in close cooperation with you and the member states on the further steps towards joint European degrees at all levels. Now, on the fourth initiative, um, which is about the scale up of the European Student Card Initiative, and I know that your members are, are very active. Um, this is an ambitious initiative, not, not an easy one, but this will expedite mobility paperwork, eliminating on site registration procedures. So it's a very important one. Not easy to connect 5,000 different IT systems across Europe. It takes time, demand efforts on all parts, but we are making progress together with an action plan that we have devised together with higher education institutions and digital faces in the Erasmus Plus national agencies and the ministry. So if those students following us, I can only invite them to download the Erasmus Plus app where they can find a lot of information where we are building uh, an Erasmus Plus community to exchange tips during this, uh, this experience, this mobility experience, and more uh, um, facilities and opportunities will be developed step, step by step. 
Now, I would like to say a few words about this cancer condition that has just been adopted and that offers a wide range of measures once implemented by the member states to support your alliance and all the others to overcome challenges that you are facing. And we know that the level of ambition is very high. We know that it is not an easy ride and we know that it requires a lot of energy and enthusiasm from all of you. And we are very thankful to all of you. These recommendations that have been adopted in spring, once implemented by the member states, will really facilitate the, the case in admission and enrollment criteria, in defining the languages of learning and teaching, in sharing online learning, student mobility, implementing work-based learning activities, challenge-based and interdisciplinary approaches, as well as the rules for credit allocation, transfer, and inequality assurance. So we know that this can be challenges sometimes, depending on the countries that are taking part in, in different alliances, and you can count on our all, on all support together with the member states to support you in that front. So um, now I cannot but mention, um, before finishing my speech, mentioning another huge challenge that we're all facing and that was reminded by our president from the Leyen in her State of the Union speech yesterday. If you have not followed it, I can only encourage you to, to read the speech that is available online. It's about the huge challenge of the Russian war of aggression against Ukraine. And we are very proud about the response of the high division community in support of Ukraine. We know that a number of European universities under the leadership of APQ and University of Strasbourg are really being mobilized to help academics and students from Ukraine in maintaining and developing their high education system and institutional capacities. Across higher education research, we are mobilizing all possible European instruments to support students and staff, academics and researchers coming to Europe, but also do stay in Ukraine. As an example, together with our National Academic Recognition Information Centers, the Commission has provided online training on fast-track recognition of academic qualifications of students and staff from Ukraine, and we have published guidelines as well. We have also made it possible for higher education institutions to support students from Ukraine through all key Erasmus Plus actions. For example, by offering student scholarships for, for up to 12 months, to study or to train in companies in Europe. We made it possible to support short-term visits and training for academics from Ukraine to come and, and visit and learn from your practices in your universities. And support to Ukraine is going to be a key priority for all the 2023 Erasmus Plus course that are going to be published this autumn. There will be plenty of opportunities for structured cooperation projects to support capacity building in Ukrainian higher education institutions, including through the creation of a digital platform. In times like this, it is important to stand together and to defend our, co our common European values. So dear colleagues, I thank you again for the, this opportunity to interact with all of you, your work and dedication of utmost importance. And we all look forward to our continued interaction in the weeks, months, and years to come. Thank you very much. On behalf of everyone here, we just wanted to say once again thank you for your keynote speech and also thank you for your words at the end regarding the war in Ukraine. We also hope for a very quick resolution to this conflict 
and that we have peace again in Europe. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. Wishing you fruitful meetings and discussions and keep up the excellent work. We are behind you and on your side. Thank you. Germany has 16 states, Bundesländer, and the top politician of each of those states is the minister president. It is a great pleasure, therefore, that the minister president of this state, Baden-Württemberg, wanted to say a few words to us. His name is Winfried Kretschmann, and he wanted to say a few words to us on this occasion. Unfortunately, you can imagine he has a very, very busy schedule, so he couldn't be here in person. However, we have another VIP to come and deliver his words for us. Please help me welcome Verena Kremling, the uh, Kremling, yeah, be careful here, Kremling, project manager of Epicure Freiburg, to come to the stage and read his remarks. Verena, please. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, the University Alliance European Partnership for an Innovative Campus Unifying Regions, IPICUR, is one of the outstanding university alliances at European level. On behalf of the state government, I would like to sincerely congratulate all those involved, especially the University of Freiburg and the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology, KIT, on the completion of the pilot phase. The fact that the European Union has also pledged funding for another four years is a great success and at the same time an expression of the high quality of the Baden-Württemberg University's participation in the European Higher Education Alliances. Joint projects such as EPICOR make an important contribution to the promotion of European values and identity, as well as to the global competitiveness and inclusiveness of the European higher education landscape. The state of Baden-Württemberg, therefore, expressly welcomes cooperation between universities at European level. We will continue to support the Baden-Württemberg higher education institutions participating in the higher education alliances complementing the funding provided by the EU and the federal government. The state is thus making a significant contribution to strengthening the European education area. The state was also delighted to learn that OICOR, the European campus, will become an associated partner of EPICOR. This formal act has great potential for synergies and mutual benefits. The University Alliance is a true bottom-up network of European universities that aims to improve the mobility of students, researchers and staff and to facilitate cross-border knowledge transfer. In doing so, EPICOR always stands for equality, diversity and inclusion. It, is, it thus makes a decisive contribution to the development of our regions and to the promotion of European values. And these are values whose importance cannot be overestimated these days. For the future, I wish all involved stakeholders from Baden-Württemberg and the partner regions all the best and success in their European path. Thank you. As you know, I like to be spontan, spontaneous. So on behalf of the entire Epicor team, or better said, on behalf of your team, I want to say thank you for reading the statement and also thank you for making this Epic Forum happen in such a great time. Thank you so much. Here's your wine from Freiburg. Thank you. Please. As you can see from this lovely picture, we have here Professor Dr. Gerbrato Mukherjee, and he is the president of the DAAD, and that is the German Academic Exchange Service here in Germany. Unfortunately, he couldn't be with us today, but we have someone
to come and read his statement for them. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing myself, David Patrician. Thank you, merci. Do I need to use the hand microphone or can I? Can you hear me here? Ah, oh wow, all right. Dear Professor Kriegelstein, dear colleagues, honored guests of the Alliance Epicor from Austria, Denmark, France, Germany, Greece, the Netherlands, Poland, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, thank you very much for your kind invitation to this year's Epicur Forum. Much to my regret, I'm not able to take part in person, but as the president of the German Academic Exchange Service, also known as the DAAD, I feel very honored to send a short welcoming address. This forum is a symbol of success for the level of international cooperation and especially for European integration, which the Alliance Epicure has achieved. Together with, Epic, with, together with UCOR, excuse me, your alliance considerably contributed to shaping the funding scheme for the European universities. It certainly became a flagship project. You have proven this with successful performance in the first regular Erasmus Plus call, on which I congratulate you warmly. Today, two years remain to achieve Macron's vision, which goes far beyond funding and reputation. When a European University Alliance really wants to become one university, the idea of a strategic partnership would not be enough. The bonds that are created must be firmly based on friendship, trust, shared values. Quite similar to a good personal friendship, which does not rely on functional strategic goals, but also on emotions, openness, honesty, acceptance, and cooperativeness. I therefore suggest referring to and putting into practice Macron's vision, not as strategic partnerships, but as institutional friendships. An institutional friendship as a conceptual, intellectual, and emotional bond between higher education institutions in Europe. And Epicor, your alliance, could certainly be in the vanguard of alliances realizing this particular vision. Ladies and gentlemen, you represent some of the oldest and greatest universities in Europe. You all stand in a tradition of pioneers, optimists, and visionaries. We all believe in the power of research, of teaching, of teaching and learning and critical thinking, and in the value of our shared European heritage and culture. Thus, I am sure that we all are eager to drive forward the European higher education area to improve future generations' lives on our continent. In my personal vision, the European universities are places of mutual inspiration, educational innovation, and excellent research. I strongly believe that this vision becomes reality when strategic partners turn into institutional friends. In this sense, I would like to wish you a fruitful and inspiring event. Thank you very much. Oh. And thank you, David, for being a wonderful moderator. And wow. Leader. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Oh. My train ride back to Hamburg just got better. Thank you very much. Okay. No, just kidding. Of course, I'll do it on the weekend. Okay. Let me get here my notes together as we jump around. And we're coming now to the closing of our first part of our program this morning. Last but certainly not least, the European Commissioner for Innovation, Research, Culture, Education, and Youth, Maria Gabriel, was also very excited about our event today. She has prepared a statement, and I would now like to invite to the stage Kirsten Fest, who is the Project Coordinator for Epicur Freiburg, to share Ms. Gabriel's statement with us. Kirsten, the floor is yours. Dear Epicureans, as pioneers of the European Universities Initiative, you have witnessed firsthand the remarkable capacity of universities to excel across all their missions through deeper cooperation, both across borders and with their ecosystems. 
Let us push even further. Great challenges call for the full mobilization of, how, of our educa education se sector sorry, in order to reach higher levels of resilience, unity and sustainability in Europe. What we need is a vision and tangible progress, a vision to enable our universities to reach their full potential, to mainstream your innov innovative activities and deep cooperation for more faculties, staff and students to offer more innovative pedagogies, implement more joint activities and joint programs, and be even more inclusive and engage more with our ecosystems and communities. Progress based on joint efforts will boost European higher education and research cooperation. As flagships of the European strategy for universities, we want to support you as a European university to reinforce your shared journey rooted deeply in our common European values. We want you to continue to engage your capacity and strength to reinforce your quality, performance, attractiveness and international competitiveness across education, research, innovation and service to society. We want you to foster a European identity by bringing a new generation of Europeans closer across borders and across academic disciplines. And we want European universities to remain anchors of knowledge and civic engagement within regions and cities. We want you to continue to promote regional dynamism by acting as hubs for innovation and entrepreneurship, creating smart solutions for local challenges, contributing to a balanced brain circulation and offering interesting job opportunities for students in their home countries. The Commission stands solidly with you in these efforts. Thank you very much. Where's your wine? Where's your wine? Oh, you know what? I like that. Come on, we have an extra wine here. Kirsten, on behalf of your team as well, we do have an extra wine. I like that. Crowd participation, always good. On behalf of everyone, thank you for delivering those remarks and enjoy your Freiburg wine. A beautiful city, I've heard. There you go. Thank you. Okay, great. So, just one or two quick words. Um, yeah, when I visited the European Union a few years ago before Corona, BC, um, I actually was very impressed to hear the motto of the European Union. Three words, united in diversity. When I look around this room and I've learned more about the Epicor the last few weeks, I have to say, um, you all are living that motto, united in diversity. And uh, yeah, the program is still continuing. And I'm going to be here still for a few more hours, but around 3.30 I'm going to slip out to the train station and head back to Hamburg because I have a full day of work tomorrow. But now, to an organizational point. We'll now have a coffee break, always good things to hear, and we ask you to come back here at around 11 o'clock, and here Kirsten is here in this room, is that correct? Good. So we have about 25 minutes. Enjoy your coffee, mingle, enjoy, and we'll see you here back here at 11 o'clock for our panel discussions. Merci, thank you very much.